when I was a little kid, like uh, I think eight to 10 years old or something, I don't know, eight to 15, well, about eight years old, I've always wanted, my dream, some people wanted to be doctors and stuff like that. My dream was to be a biker and be in a, a motorcycle club, okay? My dad used to buy the Easy Rider magazines and I used to love looking through them because I could see pictures of boobies and see all the parties for biker things and stuff like that. I love the centerfold pieces, which is David Mann. This is a David Mann uh, painting, but this one's not a set. Oh yeah, it is there. I can see a center line on it in there. But my dream of wanting to be in a motorcycle club, it's always there. I always have it, but the reality is I can't do it now. I'm just too... My my uh, head injuries just kind of messed me up too much. So I got I I got a different life now. It's still my dream, but it will never happen. But the importance of this picture was given to me from one of my best friends. His name's Crow. He's a long time member of a motorcycle club, and he gave this to me. And he made this frame when he was a young kid in his in school in a woodworking class. So, Crow, here's another shout-out to you. I just want you to know that I love you, man. And uh, look where the piece is now. I'll dust it off all the time, so don't worry about that and how much it means to me to uh, be your friend, best friend, and all the support you've given me and everything like that. I love you, man. Look at me, Mama. I'm a pumpkin. What's up, guys? So today I'm going to be taking a little break from carving wood spirits and owls and stuff like that. Uh, I got these, I've had these few pieces of driftwood lying around for a month or two. So what I decided is to make these, just whatever, just spend some time sanding this piece of wood, cleaning it up, just relaxing kind of, right? They're little uh, kind of light holders. Tea light holder. So what I'm going to do, okay, this one, I don't, look at the size of those worm holes. I don't know if that's termite, but somebody knows. I think these are the kind, I think the kind of worms that hit uh, this piece of wood is the kind of worms that used to shank the, the old sailor ships, like pirate ships. Because these are massive. Like, I can stick my freaking pinky in there. But this is going to be another tea light hole. I pre-drilled the holes. Okay, you can use a drill. You can use a drill press. Use one of this bit, one of these bits, any kind of bit that you want. This is uh, one and a half inch, okay? So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna put my mask on because another thing somebody pointed out to me too from using driftwood on the beach. If it's a popular beach, which the I didn't get, this is not too popular beach, but dogs might piss on this shit. So wear your mask when you're cleaning up this stuff, guys. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna sand it. You, if you got sandpaper, use sandpaper. Sand it any way you want, any way you can. I'm going to use this. It's hooked up to a Dremel flex shaft. Okay, hook and loop sandpaper. You can buy these on eBay. Ten bucks. Just type in two inch hook and loop pad. Ten bucks, and you get a kit of sand sanding uh, papers too. Look, hook and loop. Okay, and there's a video online. This is a 90 degree Dremel bit. There's a guy online that. Makes it so you put a washer in here and it will fit to the flex shaft, okay? So, here I'll just start sanding this stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sand it nice and clean, maybe burn it a bit, and then uh, put some varnish or something on it. Just to mix it up, you know what I mean? I don't know, I might carve in a little word here or something. Oh, love, happy, joy. Or how about like, uh, get lost, scram. I don't know. Whatever, just mixing it up. Super simple projects for guys, for you guys. You know what I mean? For the, for people that don't, have never worked with wood. We'll just teach you about grain, get you to show you grain and the way things work.
I don't know why I'm doing this. I hate sanding. Ah. Okay, guys, so I got uh, lots of this sanded here. That's that I want to sand. So I'm going to put some little carvings in here. So you'll see the tea. What are these things called? Tea lights. We'll sit in there. I'm going to uh, carve dream in here. Just to, I don't know, make it more sellable, I guess. And this one is going to be carved light up your life. <laughs> light your life up. I don't know how you're going to do it, but just do it. Light up your life. Okay, so um, what I'm going to use, use to carve the letters in is a real small carving bar. Uh, I'll pull them out and I'll show you. Okay, so I'm going to use this. Uh, it's like a wall, wall tile cutting bar. I don't know. It's just something that I had lying around. It's kind of like these... Um, it's kind of like my uh, go-to bits, these ones, these uh, these cutters. They are, I see them in all my videos, guys. I use them lots. Wall tile, roto zip, 1-8 shaft. So what I'm going to do is put these in my Dremel flex shaft. This is a 1-8 shaft, and I'm going to carve, then I'm going to paint inside the letters, okay, if I feel like it. Same with that one. So I normally use cut saw burrs, guys. Um, let's see here. This one's kind of plugged up. But this is what I normally use and the, for when I do my normal carving. And the link will be listed below. And use the code CFUSION to save yourself 5%. So I will be doing this in my Dremel Flex shaft. This is from China or something. If this works good, I'll use it. If not, I'll switch over to my faithful Roto Zips. One eighth wall cutters, wall tile cutters. And I just want to show you something good. Why this dust collector table good that I have, right? Because you got those holes in there. You can stick your screwdrivers in the back to kind of uh, lock your piece up. So I'm going to be carving this letters with my hand. Now it's locked up. And I can't get can't get pushed back, right? See, stops there. Okay, let's carve these letters. In the flex shaft, that uh, Chinese thing I got. Yeah, they cut pretty good.
Dream! Ah, oh, dream! <laughs> Okay, there you go. Coming from somebody that quit school in grade four, I had to Google how to spell dream. <laughs> uh, the writing's not perfect, guys. If I wanted to make it perfect, I could have. It's just quick little sayings, right, for people to enjoy when their light's going. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly sand this again. Just sand all the fuzzies off there. Take it outside. And give it a quick blast with the black spray paint. So these letters will be black and then I'll sand it off again, okay? Okay guys, so I took this outside and uh, spray painted this, okay? That's just underlay, underlay, dry. underlay, amigos. Um, you can see I didn't get all in there. All the letters there, like if you, you'll see the wood color in there, whatever, no big deal. Okay, so I'm going to sand all this uh, black spray paint off now. And I burnt inside here too, just to give it more character, right? <clears throat> ah. Goddamn mosquitoes. Okay guys, so that's that. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to spray paint uh, enamel on it. Good enough. You know, I don't need to go all crazy. Like, I don't know how much I could sell these things for, but pretty cool anyways. Something different than carbon wood spray. It's got to mix it up once in a while. Look at all that cottonwood bark I got stored in there. More. And more. Okay guys, so I got those uh, those uh, light holder things outside. What I'm going to be doing today for the rest of the day, they're outside drying in the sun. Sorry, I'm jumping ahead of the gun here. I'm going to be carving these, these little uh, things into this little pendant. My friend's going to try and uh, put epoxy or resin around this so I can make it like a chain. Or I don't know how he does it, but he's going to do something with it anyway. So in case this one wrecks... I'm going to make a few more. So you guys can see this is the best way to make a, a wood spirit. By a triangle piece, okay? If you want to make one for the wall, how the this this will be the fl Jesus Christ. This will be the back so it can sit flat against the wall. You got your highest point there for the nose. Watch my step by step uh carving wood spirit series, guys, and it will show you how to carve wood spirits. I'm not going to do it in this video, but I just want to show you this is absolutely the best way to start carving a wood spirit because of your nose. Uh, here I go again. Ugh. See, this is your center line right here, right? Then your nose is right here. Now, there's your nose, and your mustache comes down. So, that to carve that nose higher, you just have to carve this out right here. Real simple. Do it in a bigger scale, guys. Try it this way. Super simple. And then you already have the shape of the face. You know what? Don't just start carving a wood spirit on a flat surface. Hardest surface. Hardest thing to do. Start on pieces like this, guys. Bigger, like, get a 4x4. Four four. Split it down the middle so you have two triangles, right? 
Pretend this is a four by four, cut it, see, square, kind of. Cut it right down the middle, two triangles, two wood spirits. Look, it's the three spirit stooges. Hey guys, look how easy that is to make the nose stick out higher. There's the nose. Light up your life. Oh, dream. Ah. There you go. A couple tea light holders. Not really my type of thing. But whatever. They'll make good gifts for someone. Light up your life. Light it up. Ah, light it up. And dream about it. Remember I told you guys these stuff like this will make uh, good gifts? Well, I only have one now. The one that said, light up your life. Well, you've heard me talk about my neighbors before, Lawrence and Cheryl and their son, Austin. Well, Cheryl just lost her mom today. She, she was an older lady. She lived a good life, but she went fast. So I just thought it uh, made good sense to go over and give it to her. Maybe it will light up, put some light in her life. That's what I mean, guys. Don't be afraid to give your stuff away as gifts. It will mean more to people uh, than you know. Dream. <laughs>